What's going on, folks? I hope everyone had a great Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, um, but back to the real world as the holiday is over and back to the Monday tool deals. All right, so every Monday now, guys, this has progressed into pretty much a normal thing. Don't know how long it's going to last, but um, every Monday, it seems like Home Depot is running a special buy of the day that features uh, tools, OPE tools. So that's um, pretty good. So we know what day to look at. You know, you can kind of focus in on one day. Here is the pressure washer for $99. Um, so let's take a look. All right, um, there's a lot of different stuff here. We'll even talk about maybe some of the other non-tool stuff because today there's a lot of stuff, okay? Um, a lot of this stuff, though, guys, we went over already. So, again, um, you know, here's your plug-in um, extension cord, electric uh, trimmer you're probably not going to want. 1800 PSI for $99. 129, okay, for your 15-inch carbon fiber shaft attachment with the string attachment. Now, I think this is tool only. Indeed it is. So, you know, I I, I don't think Ryobi is a company that should be selling these OPE tools without batteries because you got to remember the Ryobi is a homeowner brand so there's so many people who are moving from gas into the lithium ion stuff and you know they don't have batteries so you know they they need a kit right you know with, with some other brands you know, obviously, you know, Makita, Milwaukee, DeWalt, people kind of have, are in those platforms for years because, you know, they're going to spend money on them. They they use them more often. But uh, I just don't think it's smart to be selling these bare tool. Um, anyway, here's a 40 volt with a um, fan, uh, a fan. With your jet fan blower with a battery and charger. You know, 169, you know, doesn't break the bank. All right. 299 for a pressure washer. We've seen before. This is the 16 inch. Okay. Hybrid walk behind push mower. I have quite a, a few videos on this. For some reason, the price on this has gone up tremendously. Um, mine was one ninety nine with two batteries. Okay, so uh, now I know that they kind of updated it, and I don't know if this is their Gen two model. I don't think it is, but um, actually, who knows? But you're gonna see a video really soon on the new Heart lawnmower. Okay. And I think that really hits a nice sweet spot. We'll talk about it during the video. But um, there's your Ryobi. Remember, that only takes one battery. Okay? So. And you don't have. Uh, you can't put two in it. Like when one dies, the other one will take over. So you just got one spot right there. All right, but you get two batteries. And, you know, this is, you know, for $329. And, again, this thing is really... I was, guys, if you ever want to watch the video, again, I have a couple videos on it. I was very surprised with the cut. But the build quality was a little subpar. And to spend three hundred and twenty nine dollars on this, again, when I got it, it was one ninety nine with two fours. 
So, not, not, I don't know what's going on here. But it could be a different version. I have to check the model number, but because it says it's usually $416. I don't know what planet they're on there. All right. Um, so there's this new company, Green Machine. All right. Um, 149 kind of, um, you know, with the battery. A 2.5 amp hour. Now it's a 62 volt platform, a 25 inch, 149. You know, that's a pretty solid deal. It looks like they're getting a lot of. Um, now again, you see 20 reviews, and they're all five star. Um, obviously, I think this is kind of a yeah. It's a Home Depot brand. What they do is they they give this stuff to people for free all right i don't think that they pay people but um you know they kind of give it to them for free and you know you get something for free and they're gonna write something real nice on it now again this is a 16 inch for 149 dollars with the battery you know that's that's pretty good um but look at the size of this battery all right, so, you know, I'm not quite sure how heavy this is going to be. Um, if they had this in stores, I would probably buy it to try it out for you guys. But I've never, I haven't seen it in the store yet anyway. You know, you got the waltz here, the super light. You know, you stick a two or three amp hour battery on this, you know, or their their trimmer. Now, again, not a big fan of their new trimmer. Uh, it's kind of heavy too. Um, but their you know Gen One and that brushed trimmer is pretty good. I don't know why I'm spending time on this, guys. If you're sticking around, I mean, you you're awesome. See, it says six point. Eight three pounds. That's probably without the battery. All right, because that seems super light, and you know, it comes with zero point nine five line too. So again, I, I think these lithium ion trimmers work great with zero eight zero line, but they're not playing around. This green machine brand. So it looks like there's a lot of value with it, guys, but maybe uh, towards the end of summer, I'll, I'll try to get my hands on some stuff. We'll check out the green machine. So here's the trimmer with the blower for $239. It's really just another option. Now this one is, again, you know, we kind of saw their 16-inch trimmer. Now here is their carbon fiber trimmer. Right, so was, and I'll tell you that battery looked very similar to Ryobi's 40 volt. Now, is TTI making this green machine stuff for you know Home Depot? Who knows? I'm sure someone can look it up. But look at that battery; looks awful, much awful similar. All right, now obviously you kind of have different voltages, right? This is 62 volts verse 40 volt but you know you got a carbon fiber just like the ryobi both kind of premiering like right now 30 minutes of runtime again with the milwaukee you're getting like an hour with the nine amp hour battery 60 minutes of runtime forget about it with 12 so Keep that in mind. And it's really not about volts, guys. It's about watt hours. You know, I say it a lot. Um, here's some nailers. Let me just go over this, guys. Uh, some Freeman stuff. Um, you know, rigid. You got a 18-gauge uh, um, Brad Nailer kit. Not bad, 129. You got a uh, compressor here, 20-gallon for 390. 
Here's a nice Makita 5.2 gallon um, single tank compressor with a, looks like a roof nailer. Here it is with, looks like a finish nailer. And here is, look at this one, 249 guys. This is a great deal. So you're going to get a 2.6 gallon hot dog Makita compressor. And I've seen this before. And again, um, 18 gauge Brad nailer with this as well. All right, with a nice hard case. You know, it's only 2.8 gallons. All right, but, you know, if you're on a, a budget, and again, this is really good for Brad nailers, finish nailers, um, you know, putting air in the tires. Obviously, if you're using, you know, roofing and framing nailers, I mean, you could use, I guess, a framing nailer with this, but 249 All right, uh, we're, st we're we, you know we see a lot of the same stuff, unfortunately, on these Mondays. Uh, a little bit different today. Look at this. Oh, of course, this is a lithium ion. This would have been a great deal, guys. A pass load, but probably never available. Here's their brand new. I wouldn't say brand new, but their Gen Two can pre. Um, Dual function inflator deflator, so seventy nine bucks, but you get a battery and charger. Usually this is like thirty nine bucks, and we've actually seen it for like twenty nine bucks. So I'd rather spend twenty nine without a one point three amp barrel battery or one point five. But uh, like I said, it's I got some Freeman stuff, some roofing nailers, Brad nailers. Here's the whole shebang, uh, framing finish staplers nailers 279 mini palm nailer and a 21 degree full round head framing nailer with case from freeman 119 these are great you know if you're not using them you know professionally now obviously freeman makes them better nailers but you know that this is basically you know a homeowner type nailer some grills Listen, I'm not going to go over or spend a lot of time on it, but there's some pretty good deals on some charcoal grills, um, you know, some gas grills. Now, I never heard of Royal Gourmet. You know my, you know, here's a couple pellet grills as well. Um, smokers. All right, you got different colors. You know, when it comes to, to grills, listen, I've had grills, you know, some of these brands, you know, Charbroil, um, never heard of Royal Gourmet. I think it, it wasn't a Char, I had it was some Home Depot brand, but I had it for 10 years, had no problem. And I'm like, all right, I'm not spending all that money on a Weber, right? I, this, this one lasted 10 years, forget the name of it. But then I kind of bought a Charbroil, that thing lasted like two years. I'm like, yeah, I think I just got a dud. Then I got another one. It lasted like three years. I said, screw it. We're going Weber. Last Weber I've had. Well, the Weber I have now, seven years. Sometimes it's worth just to buy the best so you don't have to deal with, you know, things kind of breaking down. Especially when, you know, it's feeding you and your family. So, again, I don't know why this stuff is sold out. I looked at this stuff, guys. This was mailed, sent to me at, I think, 4.30 this morning. And this stuff was all sold out already. All right? So, I don't know why Home Depot does that. Um, maybe they're kind of setting, setting it up for next week. Because that's what we kind of see. Sometimes stuff is sold out. Kind of just to get your, you know, your blood boiling. And then they'll kind of have it... Maybe not next week, but a couple weeks later, you'll see this kind of up. But uh, here's the 42-inch zero turn. Um, here's that green machine uh, rear-wheel drive self-propelled mower. And you got a push model, 
uh, three and one for two ninety nine. So if you want self propelled, you know, obviously really good pricing with this green machine stuff. You got a five year warranty. Um, I think it's what three years if you don't register it, but or maybe it's three years with the battery. Let me. See. Yeah, so five year with the tool, three year for the battery. Limited warranty with the battery. Get it done with Green Machine. All right, so not too much, you know, mostly OPE stuff on this day after Father's Day. And again, I hope everyone had a, all the dads out there had a special Father's Day. Um... Yeah, that's it, guys. A lot of o OPE stuff. This stuff was never available. I doubt any of you were going to be interested in this anyway. Really expensive. $726. Um, $35.99 for their uh, newer zero turn. Now, this is their older one. They, they do have a newer one out. Um, Ryobi with a better deck. And I think it's really just about the same price. Here's the Makita 18-volt mower with the curved shaft. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there have a crooked or a curved, you know what I'm talking about? So, 159 you might like that. 149 Here's the Milwaukee, a little bit better deal. And it's funny, this is a much better deal than any of these that are sold out. Okay, there's no chainsaw in any of these deals except the bottom one. But now, now you're talking nine hundred and fifteen dollars. But you can get one that's three hundred dollars less with your trimmer, with your blower, with your hedge trimmer, and with a chainsaw. So, guys, for seven hundred and seventy-six dollars, you might say it's expensive, and obviously, listen, it's not cheap, but you know, two forty nine. Well, let's let's go with MSRP. So two ninety nine, three hundred dollars right off the bat. Chainsaw and that spare tool. You're talking four forty nine with the battery and charger. So if you want to go that route, for another two hundred dollars, you're getting a hedge trimmer, a blower, and it looks like the new. All right, this is not the fuel. All right. There is a couple videos on this. Uh, again, I got one. We're going to test it out very soon. I kind of opened it up. I wasn't impressed with it. it. It's. I hope Milwaukee's not going this route. I'm going to be honest with you. Getting into like a cheaper version of their tools. Because that's kind of just what this seems like. With this um, non-fuel brushless um trimmer here um it just doesn't really make sense and you, obviously you can tell from the head the trimmer head it's just not as well built as the fuel but you know for the homeowner everything here is fuel except the trimmer and that trimmer is going to be fine i could tell you one thing it is lighter so obviously i I think that's what they're kind of going with. I think they kind of wanted to have a homeowner trimmer. Um, because not, and again, that's, it's one of the best built, lightest trimmers out there. I'm still using it now. It's making a lot of noise. Um, but you're talking about, you know, almost five, probably five years now. That was used daily for four years. And still no issues with it. You know, besides it, kind of losing a little bit of RPM, and it makes like a little. I, don't know, I gotta open it up and see if maybe if there's some kind of debris in there near the motor. But anyway, six seventy six. This is a pretty good deal, and again, and a battery as well. Uh, and there's two thousand nine hundred and twenty four reviews. I doubt that because this trimmer just came out. And I've never even seen this kit before. 
offered. But 676, again, it's a lot of money. But if you're looking to get into, again, Milwaukee's killing themselves, guys, without with, with not having a lawnmower. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. Um, but again, I know uh, my, my neighbor reluctantly just got into a OPE platform. He bought a cobalt mower and he's got the wall, you know, blower, trimmer, um, hedge trimmer. You know, he wanted to get Milwaukee, but they didn't have a lawnmower. So his plan was to maybe do the cobalt and then do the Milwaukee. But he's like, this stuff is double the price of the, of the, the, the Walt stuff. So I'm just going with the Walt. And I told them, eh, I don't know, man. But here's some Makita stuff, 149 All right. You know, these trimmers, guys, are Makita's homeowner's trimmers. So when you hear me talk about the trimmers, especially their 36-volt, their 18-volt X2, which I think is the best trimmer out there, um, you know, this is not it. But, you know, 149 bare tool, you get some extra line for the homeowner. Stuff's fine. Here's some packages. Um, you know, you got the new 40 volt HP lawnmower. You're going to have a hedge trimmer, a chainsaw, three batteries, uh, a string trimmer, $919. Again, you can get the Milwaukee stuff for $300 less and just wait, get a different mower or get a Ryobi mower instead. And you're kind of going to still be at the same price. Maybe a couple bucks more. But there's not really that much value here. I'm going to be honest with you. $900. Kind of crazy. Uh, the Ryobi stuff is just absolutely crazy. Now uh, this is $899. I don't know why. There's a price difference here. Oh, this one has this the Smart Trek mower. Both are self-propelled, but this has Smart Trek. So, uh, you know, spend the extra 20 bucks, I guess. But that's the deals for today. I'll put the link below. We'll probably catch you next Monday with another one. And we might have one during the week. Who knows? Peace out.